Well, you, you never can prepare for, for being a parent. It happens, but you have your idea of what you want to be as a parent. And what has inspired me uh, has been to see all the men in my life give to me unconditionally, and I was not their child, or I was not their relative. And so when I had the opportunity to have my own son, um, I felt very prepared in what a um, father could be and should be. He's much better and much more athletic than I ever could have thought about being. Um, and he understands the importance of uh, the game itself, but also friendships. Uh, making sure that you value your teammate, that you have your teammates back, that um, the sport is a beautiful one, but it's also one that, like anything, demands excellence, demands um, uh, practice. That is something that is very important to understand that you want to be the best at what you, you can do. And at 12, he understands that. He works very hard at it. So very excited about his um, potential career, but he also places a lot of emphasis on education. And if I learned anything from my father, was that you are a lifelong learner, that regardless of your age, regardless of your status, you can learn something. Uh, even before he passed away in October of 2014, he was still trying to learn a new language. And that was very important for me to see across my life, and I try to pass that on to my son, and so that's very important that you're prepared, that you're a lifelong learner, you're a giver, and that you're kind along the way. Well, I think about a particular situation one day when I came home, uh, I found about five kids in my bedroom playing with my toys. Uh, they ended up being students of my father and um, were in need of some help after school, uh, both musically and they needed a meal. And I remember being very upset that I found five strange uh, young people in my room and got very upset with them. And my father sat me down and he said, look, you know, you've been very, very blessed to have opportunities that a lot of kids in the city of Birmingham don't have. And it's your responsibility to, to be kind and to share. And I'll never forget the disappointment that I saw in his eyes when he saw me not be kind and not want to share what I had with young people. And that was a very profound lesson for me, that uh, you never know where people are coming from. And you always have to be of the mindset that you can be helpful. And that's something that was very important to my father and something he still did me at a very young age. My father was someone who really believed in the power of a child that every child could be great, every child had dreams that were worth pursuing, and we as adults had a, a real responsibility to help them achieve those dreams, and always to be kind in doing that and encouraging. And so uplifting the children in the community was his life's work. It's something that I found very important and impactful in my own life and something that I'm pursuing right now. The most important thing that I believe uh, in being a father is that you don't seek perfection. You try to be the best you can that day. You try to do the best you can that day. And you make sure that uh, your child, in my case my son, is aware that he has a great responsibility to pass those things on to his children and to the children in his life and the children in his community. And I think that um, if I had to encapsulate everything that I've learned from my mentors, it's just that. That we have a responsibility, we have a duty to pass on uh, not only the positive that occur in our lives, but those challenges so that we can help those young people navigate around those pitfalls, around those traps, around those snares so that they can go on and have great lives but understand that you know, they have a responsibility to help the next generation and that's very important for us.